Well, welcome back everybody. Today we've got something that's really special. Uh, something that Len has been working on a long, long time, done, done a lot of research on. Basically, it involves using a combination of Tom Wirth's, Tom and John Wirth's tips uh, programs, as well as Len's power factors, what he calls his power factors. We call it the tip tips prime mover generator and it what it does it combines tips that Len has found are very very again these are the tips from John and Tom Ward that are very very predictive of um of future performance and then Len's got dozens and dozens of uh, what he calls power factors which are similar to tips in that they're very predictive of what a horse is likely to do in the future. So he's found ways to crunch these together, add his combinations with the worth uh, tips combinations and come out with some really, really great results. Um, here, here's, this is the main screen right here. As you can see, it's the you know, normal palette that we use. Uh, with the main screen. Uh, this horse here actually at Indy actually paid 22 bucks. You do get some really nice prices with this thing. Average mutual is over 11 bucks. So you do get some really, really good prices. But again, uh, this is the main card. Uh, it's, this also has a um, probably overall the best from what we've seen. And Len worked on this a long time but exact a trifecta box, and usually in bigger fields, sometimes there'll be four horses, sometimes five, but we've hit a lot of really, really great prices um, with this thing, just using those combinations. So basically, let's go over the uh, basics of the software. And uh, again, it starts with late, Len has uh, been, lately Len has been experimenting uh, with certain combinations of his power factors and uh, Tom Ward's tips. And we are happy to say that the first of these productions is ready to go. And again, we call it the Tips Prime Mover Generator Super Module. It's also it's something that Len was able to develop by using not only his program, which is very sophisticated, but he also uh, was able to use uh, something he uses for stock market trading, which is basically an artificial intelligence program. And by coding it, by recoding it, it made the research much easier. So again, and this is the first one of the series that he's come up with, because as he, as he said, uh, a lot of these tips combinations, tips and his power factor combinations, um, can be used to get very, very specific, very specific to maybe just sprint races, low level claiming races, um, you know, certain, um, cer certain distances that uh, may, uh, certain distances and class levels that may produce much better overall results than just normal handicapping. So there's a lot of possibilities with this new methodology. Uh, and again, and most of you know about tips are developed by John Worth back in the 80s. Um, and the tips overall that he came up with were all positive handicapping factors. Uh, the problem is there was like 80 of them back then, and you pretty much had to go through every tip to try to <laughs> to to try to, uh, find a winner. In other words, try to handicap a race. And while it worked very, very well, it was very, very difficult for anybody to handle. Uh, and a little bit after that, uh, one of uh, John's, Tom's customers uh, came up with something that he called pops and tips, which streamlined the process a little, but still it was very, very tedious, tedious work. And then Len, when he came along, um, he uh, did an, an early version of tips and then a further version of tips, which proved very popular, which he basically put on the compute, put on a uh, uh, software program. And so, and, and at that time that he did it, instead of 80 tips, there's like 123 tips. So he was able to put all of those into a program and just a couple clicks of the mouse, you've got your results to, as to what previously probably would have taken you six hours to handicap a card. Now, Len also has developed hundreds 
uh, what he calls power factors. And they're angles that kind of, you know, similar to tips in that they're positive performance factors. They predict overall that a horse with this factor will improve in his next start or two. So what Len did is he um, went ahead and did a lot of research. He said this research took a long, long time. To start, I instructed my database to look at virtually thousands of tips and power factor combinations. I came up with roughly a dozen that looked very promising. I then had to run tests using close to 60,000 races to confirm the viability of these combinations. And then he says, fortunately, I was aided by an artificial intelligence program that was originally designed for the stock market day traders. I was surprised how easily with just a couple of coding changes, I was able to adapt this program uh, to our game. So he was able to use this artificial intelligence program um, to, um, to actually make the research much more easier, much more exacting. So that's why how he came up with these. And again, he's got several of these that came out great. But like I said, he found out overall that this one he thought was a really good one to start with because it covered all races, all tracks. Um, and, and again, he developed a uh, a uh, algorithm for uh, exactives and trifectives. And he says it actually shocked even us at its extreme accurate and price getting performance. And when when Len says a lot of a lot of you know Len or have talked to him, when Len actually said he shocked that that really means something because there's not much that that uh, you know that gets Len going gets him excited. He's a very straightforward programmer kind of guy. But uh, when he saw the exact and trifecta results, he was really pleased. Here's some quotes from folks that actually. Um, you know, using the program, Jason in Miami, uh, he <laughs> he's he got really good results. A lot of he was really impressed with the um, the exotics, and he asked us, please don't sell this too cheap because he was afraid his um, uh, prices would go down. Overall, too many people had it, but again, overall, we found that's never been a concern. Uh, Tom Consul just said it's fantastic. That's all I have to say. Um, Craig in uh, Des Moines, who does a lot of a lot of testing for us. Um, also found that uh, this, it, while he's got a lot of our programs, he found that this one was super, super accurate. And he loved um, the average, uh, the, the, the average mutuals, overall average mutuals, and again, loved the exact and trifecta selections. So uh, we, we, now we put on here, as we usually do, we several race cards to show you uh, how accurate this thing is. And these are not untypical. You, you, uh, here's a day, for instance, Kentucky Derby Day. Now our theory has always been if a program works well on the big racing days where the racing is really tough uh, and contentious, and then it's gonna do even better on normal tracks that aren't heavily competitive in stakes races. Here on Kentucky Derby uh, Day, five wins, seven seconds, five exactas. And one of the exactas actually, uh, in this, believe it or not, uh, paid $1,003 so, uh, in the seventh race. And again, that's not gonna happen often. In fact, it's gonna happen very, very seldom. But, um, but the fact that the program recognized this horse, the horse that actually won and uh, as part of the uh, exotics is pretty pretty amazing. Also, it's very good at pick threes just by taking the, the horses that you'll see in these situations and just playing them all uh, or keying them. In this case, pick three starting in the seventh race came back at $7,700. Uh, and, and actually on this card, there are two other pick threes. One paid 300 and something. But again, this is so if you're a pick three player, it's great for that as well. Here, Kentucky Oaks Day, four wins, six seconds, six exactas. Um, and here we have a day at Indy, uh, Indianapolis, uh, where again, if you, you can look at these results because you're going to see this often with this program. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of wins, a lot of seconds and thirds, and again, exact as try here, 376 super, 120 try. But again, for the most part, this is an extremely, extremely consistent program. Uh, here's uh, like what the main, the main screen looks like. And um, 
here again, Kentucky Oak State played hard and paid 19 bucks. So overall, we're really excited about this program because normally we'll go through hundreds of cards uh, by hand as well as doing the research. And just over and over, we usually use, again, this pink pen pencil to highlight and everything. Over and over, it didn't seem no matter what track we played, we were getting really, really good overall results. Better results than probably 98% of the handicapper or players out there can get. Um, and also, again, like I said, with the... Um, with the uh, exact and trifecta, we really think this is the best exact and trifecta program we've seen. Here's a case, 157 exact and 918 uh, trifecta. Obviously, you're not going to get those prices all the time, but there are a lot of very good prices in the $50 to $200 range. Here's the thousand and three dollar Kentucky Derby Day one. But uh, overall, we feel like this is something that is just pretty much a horse player's dream. Uh, we list, we, we, we be combining with the tips and with uh, lens power factors that really, really came out with what we I still consider kind of amazing results, uh, even though we've got a lot of programs that, uh, you know, we, we feel are very, 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 very good. Um, this one, Overall, from an average stand, from an average mutual standpoint, and an exact a trifecta getting standpoint, uh, probably one of the best we've had so far. Uh, we've priced it at one hundred twenty-eight dollars, which we think is reasonable because, again, a lot of research went into this, and it is very effective. Um, you can uh, again split that up into three payments if you want. Uh, so give us a call one eight hundred six nine six zero zero six seven or uh, just uh, order off the website and of course call us with any questions. Thank you.